Hey everybody, this is a Two Girls One Quick Look of Lore Finder, which is by a Nico, a so, friend of ours, a friend of ours, and also Eric Hornbury, another friend of ours. Which yes. I didn't even know that they were both working on it until like I was talking to Eric and he's like, "Yeah, I'm working on Lore Finder." I was like, "What? Wait, I know that game." Someone else talked to me about this. There's two people that I know who know each other. Yeah. What? So this is a queer horror Metroidvania game. Mm-hmm. Um, there's so, a it, there's a Kickstarter for it right now. That it's fully Kickstarted, by the way. They're just trying to get the stretch goals, because, which are pretty cool. By the way, the main character is a they is non-binary. Non-binary. We have a I have a list of. Hun. Let's see. So if you want to play through, I can. Yeah, I'm gonna play through it. So, uh, oops, I messed it up. (laughs) Couple facts about this game: Casey, the playable. Oh wait, no. So Casey is Uh non-binary and looking for their missing father. Casey is dating Pamela Jones, the librarian, who is the playable character. If we get the girlfriend mode stretch goal. Which is seventeen thousand dollars. Right now, they have seven days left as of recording and are at fourteen thousand mm-hmm. dollars. But um, and they're also one of the stretch goals is to get funding for voice acting from. Oh people. yeah, because um, one of the voice actors that, that for the stretch goal is Adam Harrington, who's the voice of Big B in Wolf Among Us. So that would be pretty cool. <laughs> I would love it if they got that. So, I was like, oh, I'll do one of the voices. I'll do it for free. And they're like, oh, if you do a non... Uh, like, oh, actually, we have much cooler people for that. <laughs> well, they said that they couldn't take me on if they took on him, because if you're not in the... Whatever it's called. Oh, oh shit. Okay. If you're, in- if you're not in the union, you oh. can't use non-union. Like, if you use a non-union... Actor, you can can't use, use union actors. You're, it's either all or nothing. Yeah. This kind of stinks. Well, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. It's okay. It's oh, okay. God. Don't panic. Um. So this game will be out on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's made by an LGBTQ-friendly studio with a good number of queer devs. So I uh, thought it would be cool to support them. Um, and this looks really cute. It well, cute is a word <laughs> you can use. But every time you unravel, you find one of those scroll thingies. You can um, you un. I guess you like peel back a layer of reality. I guess you could call it. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna go back this way. And every time I die, I end up going back to a place where I find an elixir that fully does. That fully real. Oh, you could probably jump up on that bookcase and kill those it's, bats. I can't. Oh. I can't kill the bats yet. Oh. Because I can't jump and shoot, but there's a there's a, an ability later that will allow me to do that. Oh. Okay, okay, here we go. Up here, I think, is where. Whoa, shit! There's also a speed run contest for the demo that's running until December 24th with the top three runners getting a trophy in the full game and everyone who submits a time getting into the credits in a special speed runner section. So Here we go. that's not us. That's not us. It's not <laughs> us at all. Obtain shadow casting. Ravenous shoes express obeisance. Ob- obeisance. Press X to summon. Okay. <coughs> so now technically... I can jump and shoot with my not gun. Oh, shit. But so those globules, my obeisance or whatever, can now I can jump and shoot and then die. So that's cool. Whatever. Whoa. Did you know you can jump and shoot and die? Now you do. And these little thingies can eat the... The wall monsters, I guess I would call them. Oh shit! Oh shit! See? Oh god! So I couldn't go oh, down couldn't here. Oh, you get back see, it was there blocked. before, but it was blocked. Yeah. But now. Oh. Yeah. And now I can fall into acid and not figure out why I'm dying. Oh. oh. See, I can't really. Hold on. Oh. Maybe I should have just done that before. <laughs> I was playing earlier, and I was like, why can't I get this? Okay, so now I'm back to full health. Can... See, 
Yeah, I can block the thing with that. Just die already. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, I'm really bad at timing this. There we go. No! Uh, no, uh, no, 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 oh, no! No, 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 no! Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. We're, we got other facts on there, don't we? Uh, no, that was the whole fact. Oh, okay, well, okay, I think the one that I didn't get through completely before is that um, Casey, which is the playable character we're playing right now, is dating Pamela Jones, the librarian, who will be a playable character if they get the girlfriend mode stretch goal. She'll be looking for Casey and have different powers and story associated. So the, it's a tale of lovers yeah. who uh, love each other. Queer lovers. Oh, fuck. Don't fall! Oh. Fuck! 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 I think fuck. you have to get rid of that thing first. Before the top you... stuff? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's getting a lot of funding pretty quickly. Yeah. Good for you guys. Guys being a non-gendered term for me right now. Ah, oh, shit. I'm stuck in the acid. I'm stuck in the acid! <laughs> But, as you can see, it's kind of a Metroidvania. Metroidvania? It's a Metroidvania. I've always called it Metroidvania. I don't know why. <laughs> I understand that it's a mixture between the words Metroid and Castlevania. Yeah. I just... I'm also stupid. So, it's like, you know, we gotta make a... Metroidmania! I think you have to get that thing. Oh, I, it's, it refills my heart and I don't want to waste it. Oh, no, it. I meant the... The, the googies? The yeah, googly? The goo... The, the goo... The gooey The gooey gooey. The, the wall flesh. Flesh mold? Yeah. Okay. I got everybody. All right. Can't stop me now. Not gonna fall in da, da, the da, acid. Da, 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 yes. Ooh. Oh god, what's gonna happen? What's happening? Why? Why is it happening? Oh. I, have, I haven't gotten this far. Throwing up. Oh, oh my god. Oh shit! It's day of the tentacle. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Kind of a cool monster. Oh, it's got that like gross tentacle thing coming out of his mouth. I only have one heart left, so I can't fuck up. Yeah. What? Oh, he must have spawned, oh, spawned on, top, on of you. top of me. Let's see what happens if we kill him though. Yeah. Spooky music. Good. It's good, Whoa. solid spooky music. Spooky. Oh. Spooky. AJ, are you spooked? AJ spooked. Spooked with his Dorito feet. Everyone was shocked to find out that dogs do indeed smell like Doritos. Yeah. It's like, yeah, these are Dorito facts. Dorito facts. Oh, what somebody. What do you think Doritos are made of? Somebody had written it. They're made out of dog feet. Yeah. They're not vegan, that's for sure. Okay. Somebody had written a comment about why that is. It's because of the yeast. But then I read other where it's like natural bacteria, and I'm like, you know what? All I need to know is that I don't need to worry about it. Yeah. So. Can we eat their feet? Can we eat their feet? That's, those are the real questions. That's what everybody needs to know, AJ. Can we eat dogs? Can we eat dogs? Whoa! 
gained resilient mucus. A yeah. A sheen of mucus envelops you. You have nothing to fear of caustic liquid. Oh, now I can go into the, the acid. acid. Oh. Yay, I'm covered in mucus! I love it. I love being covered in mucus. It's my thing. Have you ever covered yourself in mucus so you can get into acid? Oh, gross. What? what what's wrong? I like how with each monster it does make a challenge go away. The level design I think is, oh fuck, pretty good. I mean, the eyeball thing teaches you the concept of the next boss, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Fuck off, you stupid, stupid thing. Just, I don't like the eyeballs. Whoa. Oh, now that old thing is just a... Now that thing's just not even a thing now. It's just not even a boss. It's just a guy. Mm -hmm. That's that. They're upping the difficulty. Oh. Whoa. You gotta open the door, sir. Open the door. Hmm. Can you jump across that? that we'll see. A far. Whoa. No. Cannot. There's a bad boy down there. <laughs> significantly less effort. Oops. Ooh, what's this? Obtained thalassic limb. Between the bones, a tentacle squirms. Press arrow keys against a wall mid-air to adhere. Oh! What? So you can jump up the wall. You're my like, little lucky charm, Stacy, because I was not doing well before. <laughs> oh! Oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, oh. <laughs> she said before dying. So you should be able to jump up that wall and Oh shit, oh shit. Fuck off. I'm supposed to be able to be good at this, but um I like how they're probably watching being like, no, not like, like that. No, just no. No I'm just gonna just gonna kill this thing. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, I think you guys got it. I don't yep. have the coordination for this. Um, <laughs> but so, yeah. let's let's show them the this thing real quick. What is ambition? Hmm? Man, man is merely an animal clawing at the wall of truths. This However, is the once voice in a acting lifetime, a genius voiceovers. can bring us the gift of something new. Something that drives us forward, liberates us. I have always known I was meant to be among these scholars. That I deserve. Okay, this is two minutes long. But, so they. This is the Kickstarter. Or, this isn't being made by competent people that we believe in. Yeah. And I know that a lot of people feel. And it's like already, it's already funded. Eldritch lore is very, um, what is the, uh, relatable to people in the LGBTQIA plus community, even though I understand that H.P. Lovecraft was a homophobic uh, was, weirdo, uh, who? but yeah. for some reason it really appeals to people who are queer, so why not, why not, why not just own that and have queer people actually make it mm -hmm. and be like, listen, uh, Lovecraft, you're fucking dead, it's mine now. Yep. 